FIFA save as fast as coins for Madden 2K or even FIFA. For Madden, go to xfp.com, use code CUTE, link down below me buying coins off this website. And for FIFA or 2K, go to buymmog.com, use code CUTE, link down below me buying coins off that website. Top 10 pass rushers right now in Madden 23. Shortened to the point, if you like to hit the like button, it really supports the channel. Thank you very much. Let's try to get 60 likes. Number 10, Alex Heisman just came out. Does not hit power move threshold 90. He doesn't have the best strength. But, you guessed it, Block Shed's over 95. This guy is going to help you against the run. He's going to have good speed, and his APs are nothing special. They really should have gave him better APs. I don't know why they didn't, especially for his price right now. But on a stiller steam team, this guy's going to be fast to get off the edge, even without the team team. Impact blocking is really going to help also against the run. So this guy's going to be more of a run stopper. He can, get, he can help on the edge with 95 finesse. I do feel like on the edge, they do throw more finesse moves than they do power moves. So, yeah, this guy is good. He's number 10 on the list. But I'm just going to say I wish they gave him a better APs. Up next on the list is Allen. How about that? 94 speed, 94. So this guy is going to help a lot to get off the edge and 95 finesse. Once again, he does not hit the threshold for power move. So if he throws a power move, he's not getting, he's not going nowhere. But block shed 94 is going to be good enough. 6'5, you do like to see that. So this guy is going to be big. He's going to be fast. And you actually can put him at left end, which is cool. Uh, right now he's 400 k And his APs are just about like average or below average. So nothing special there. And that's why he's not too high on the list. But this guy has the speed to really help. I do like a way faster defense. Let's say he's out of position. He can actually make a play that the other player couldn't make. So it does matter. Number nine on the list is Allen. Up next is Ware on the list. 92 speed, 90 excel. This guy hits the thresholds for power and finesse. Has great block shed. And this guy is not small. Six foot four. And so you wish he had a little more speed at this point. And you wish his APs were a little bit better. Now, you do the powers card up to get anything. His APs are nothing special. And I feel like there's even better players at his position right now. So he's not too far up on the list. But if you're running a theme team, one of these, like, he, he can make a big difference. And do remember, this card can go left, outside, and right in. So this card does not really throw too many head sticks. I noticed when I used him, he doesn't really cause any fumbles. Um, he's not too dis really he, I wish he was um, a little bit better but he's on the list at number eight up next is Javon curse he's good on the edge not in the middle he says he's 265 he plays like he's 210 pounds he plays really light guys um, I'm gonna tell you right now he does not play like he is 89 strength he plays like he has like 80 strength or something I don't know you got to put this guy on the edge if you put him in the middle uh, he's not going to do well, but off the edge with his speed and his finesse, it's really good. His block shed's really high, so he's going to help a little bit with the run, but he's actually a little disappointing with the run. Um, you're like, well, he has crazy block shot, which I was surprised they gave him that block shot. I thought they were going to just give him, like, nothing. His APs, once again, are just about average. Uh, speedster for zero, um, I prefer double or nothing for one. However, this card, 300K, he's really tanked in price. He's good off the edge. If you need an edge rusher, get him. If you're looking for somebody to be well-rounded, I would not get him. He plays really light. Uh, for example, the next guy on the list plays way better against the run. The next guy on the list is Bruce Smith, 91 speed, 95 excel, 93 strength. You can fill his strength. You can move this guy to D-tackle. It didn't say it here. But you can put him in the middle, and this guy eats. This guy is heavy. He's 262. He plays like 300. This guy is good. So, with that being said, he's not the best off the edge because of his speed. Um, but this guy is still relevant. At 200K right now, 220, he's definitely worth it. Do remember, you've got to power this card up to make him relevant, though. If you just get him bare bones, you're getting nothing. So, be ready to invest more than 220K on this card. This card, however, 
is going to be relevant for a while. Over 95 block shed. Curse has the same. They don't play the same. Get Bruce for the inside. Get Curse for the outside. That's how I would do it. Um, Edge Threat Elite is an S tier ability for 2 AP. Put it on him. You're going to notice a difference. Go try Bruce Smith if you haven't. This next guy, I did notice more than Bruce off the edge. Power and finesse is good. Block shed's good. And I'm going to tell you right now, his APs, under pressure for one, double and nothing for one, I'd run those two on him. Um, I love this card. He's fast. He's strong. And this card plays well. And another thing I like about this card, you can move him around. So if you have a, a weakness at left outside, put him on left outside and blitz this guy. Do not put him in coverage. Uh, you can move him right outside. And he does throw hit sticks. Um, this guy did give me a couple fumbles. So that's one reason I like better than Bruce. He just was more active. He caused more chaos. And this card is 6'5". He's big. So he gets in the way more. And I'll say this, that with impact blocking and block shed, he'll surprise you a little bit on the run, but he's not the best against the run at all. He's more of an outside pressure guy. He gets good animations. So go try him out. TJ Watt is next, 91 speed, 89. So you already noticed that's not elite, right? But 96 strength, and he hits the threshold of 95 plus on power and finesse. Blocks it over 95. He plays heavy at 288. Now you do the power sky up to get anything special. If you do not power him up, you only get these. You don't get the discounts. You have got to. You do not have a choice. A turtle for zero, and edge threat elite for two. I'm going to tell you something. This unstoppable milk force thing, I like it. Milkman unstoppable force. This guy here, you will notice him, and I'm gonna tell you something. He's tackled my guy behind the line, playing against him online a lot. Uh, he gets through the line against the run. He will surprise you against the run. So if you need a specialist against the run, I will co-sign him. He's great. On the edge, he's too slow. So. You need a lot of speed on the edge because you're just a couple steps away from getting a sack. You didn't get it because he's not fast enough. But the other guy being a little bit faster, you actually get that sack. So that can change a game. That can cause a fumble. Um, this guy is physical. He plays. He does throw his sticks. And against the run, go get him. Up next and sucks. You can see he's way faster. 96 Excel. Hits the thresholds against the run, against the pass. This guy is a well-rounded at everything. You can move his position, so which is amazing because sometimes you need that position in your team team that's missing a right outside, and you can switch him over, and he's going to be relevant. This guy plays really well. His APs are nice. You get double. Or you can get both of these for two. That's pretty crazy. Under pressure for one is nice. I'm going to tell you right now, this guy just play, plays well, more well-rounded than Watt with the speed, block shed, all of that. You can set this guy, forget this guy, and let him just run. This guy plays so well. I loved his T-Sizzle card before this, and now he's got to upgrade. He's really good. Up next is Kevin Green, probably my favorite linebacker ever born. 92 speed, 97 Excel. This guy can get 99 Excel. <laughs> So he can get there, okay? This guy can get there and cause a problem they did not want. You do have to power his card up to get anything. S Threat Elite is an S tier ability. Put it on him. Crazy speed. Hits the thresholds on everything you need. He's not a coverage guy at all. Do not put him in coverage. He is expensive. And I'm going to tell you right now, with his speed animations and stuff, this guy is amazing. Go get him. There's only one player who plays better than him. And one thing about this card, though, is change of direction being so low, he doesn't do great against jukes, right, or spins. Um, so if you have him in coverage or he's got to catch somebody, like, that's elusive and shifty, it's going to be difficult. But as far as getting to the quarterback, this guy is amazing. Aaron Donald plays different. You should know this by now. In Madden, every year, this card is amazing. 93 speed, 93 excel. He's got a little bit better change the direction than Kevin. I'm going to tell you right now, the thresholds are hit, yes. 
But I'm gonna tell you, I run his all Madden card and he gets to the quarterback. Now this card being way faster, he'll get to the quarterback and make the play. So this card here is amazing. If you're on a budget, go get this card for 79K. If you're not and you just went to my coin sponsor, got your coins because it was cheap, easy, and fast. I mean, guys, he gets inside stuff. So he's going to really help against the run. Double or nothing. S tier elite. Got to get this on him. That's an S tier ability. Please put that on him. That could be the best ability on defense. Really. I mean, there's some special ones, yes, but he's that's a top three ability easily. Go get this card. You can move him left end D tackle. It doesn't matter where you put this card. He will excel. He's the best fast rusher in the game. He plays different. Go get him. Thank you for watching. Be kind for no reason. Hit the like button. I'll see you in the next one.